a few months ago, we had a heavy rain in Ibadan, Nigeria. The whole town was flooded. And a couple that was surprised by the rain when they were sleeping <clears throat> decided to come out and go hanging on a tree. And unfortunately, they met there a snake. They fell down and they were carried away with a hundred others killed by the flood. What happened? I told them, most likely, the companies that are busy producing in the United States of America and China, they are the ones who have caused this kind of rain, and we are paying for their own development. What am I saying? We need to relax, dear friends, at the United Nations, and face the reality of our life today. We are so much weighed down by history. I have accepted the history of slavery. I have accepted the history of colonialism. But I say, let's relax today and face the reality of our life. Instead of mutual accountability that has been spoken so much by the Paris Declaration, why don't we talk about multiple accountability? Multiple accountability meaning nobody should hide anything. If it is touching me, I need to know it. If it is affecting my environment, I need to know about it. Why should companies tackle private sector be allowed to make money while killing people? Why should the private sector be allowed to make money by destroying the common heritage that is our environment? Multiple accountability, the government in Europe, government in the United States, Open up. Tell us what you are doing with people's money. Tell us with whom you are dealing. Private sector, wherever you are having business, expose these things. Nobody should no longer be protected in the name of the privacy. Lastly, I was opportunity to go to Ghana in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I saw people were removed out of their villages because they claimed there was war. And behold, every day, about 50 small aircraft are busy flying around, carrying minerals. Where are they carrying these minerals? What we are saying is that, maybe out of the parliament, please, we may not be democratic. Our government in the south may have everything to hide because they have some connections. But you are democratic here. Let's know what your companies are doing with us. Let's know how, what they are doing with our environment. Let's know who is paying for what. They are destroying the environment. In order to become rich, are they paying for it? People are becoming poorer. Are they paying for it? What's the meaning of aid? If we are receiving 10 million as aid, 10 million euro, only for 10 billion to be taken out of our land, which kind of aid is that? That's why I'm saying, let's relax. We have a common world to share. We have one world. I have forgiven everything. I want you to accept me that I'm no longer an accident. We have brain. We can sit down and discuss together and plan how to move this world forward together. I am begging you. Let's relax and sit down together. There's no God's mistakes. There is no God's accident. We all have brain. We sit down. Analyze our world because if you collapse in the United States, we will collapse with you. If we are dying in Africa, we may only go ahead of you. You will follow. So the next process, the content of it must ensure that there is transparency and accountability all through. There shouldn't be any shortcuts. I think with that content, I hope you probably heard my little appeal. And I'm saying, let's relax. Let's allow history to go. Let's start something new. And that's the point that I want. Thank you.